Ew, kitty, kitty. Do not. Do not do it. May God be with you all. Hello internet, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as that guy who owns like six different businesses. It's pretty obvious what we're going to be watching today. We're going to be watching American Psycho. If you want to be a successful businessman, you have to follow all these social medias. Now this movie, American Psycho, has been consistently requested on my channel and I've actually never seen it. I know of the character Patrick Bateman because I'm a man of internet culture. I see that one meme of him all the time that's like this. He's like walking with headphones on and music's playing. And then there's this other one where it's like, why is it not possible? You stupid bastard. Uh, that's all I know. I don't know anything else about this movie. Plus, uh, Christian Bale's a pretty suave man, isn't he? So I just thought I would get like, suave? <laughs> As a guy that always wears like tracky pants and like a just printed tee, uh, I'm always comfortable. Being in like a tux and like a suit and everything, uh, I feel a little bit out of place, I'm gonna be honest. I've also wanted to watch American Psycho for a long time. It's actually one of my best friend's probably favorite movies. You know who you are if you're watching this video. I wanted to watch American Psycho because of the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder. Chances are it's out right now and I've released this video the weekend Thor comes out. Look, Christian Bale, just an amazing amazing actor in general. Batman, that's the Batman I grew up on and I absolutely loved him. I've also got a Patreon if you want to support me a little bit further and see videos a whole day early before they hit my channel. So that's all down below. It's greatly appreciated if you check it out. If not, congratulations. Um, what do I say there? Let's watch America. Wow. What a scene. I don't even know how long I'm going to be able to wear this for because I'm getting hot in it already. What was that? Uh, they look like coffee beans, but I assume it's blood. Either that or someone with a uh, severe constipation that can only poop out little rabbit-sized poops. <laughs> yep, it's blood. I mean, it's in the title, Psycho and American. Willem Dafoe's in this? What? Oh, I really like it then. Jo Morbius? The Morbin Time guy? I don't know who Josh Lucas is. You know, for a fact, those meals, they're so little, right? Like tiny. They would cost you $100. And then all these expensive people leave the restaurant after going, oh, that was so filling. Are you serious? Well, it filled your mouth, but it wouldn't have filled your stomach. Our pasta this evening is squid ravioli in a lemongrass broth. Ew. Can I have chicken nuggets instead? And grilled free-range rabbit with herb french fries. The french fries sounds good. The rest of it doesn't. Oh, God, I'm such a simple male. It's Paul Allen. It's not Paul Allen. See, I was right to wear my tuxedo. It feels right. Spin in a fucking menorah. Not a menorah. You spin a dreidel. Oh my god. Oh, um, I, I feel too poor to be watching this. Just uh, cool it with the anti Semitic remarks. <laughs> cool it with the anti Semitic remarks. I can see the meme templates already. I understand. You know what? That dude had his hair like fully slicked back. At the end of this video, I'll slick my hair back just to see what it looks like. No problem, sweetheart. Oh! Have you to death and play around with your blood. Oh, I thought he was gonna be nice. You know what? Not a water bottle. I feel like I need to be drinking water out of a cup like this with like not my pinky up, but like Yes, this is uh quite considered to be cinema. I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. A THOUSAND STOMACH CRUNCHES! I can't even do one! He's already trying to be Batman. In method acting. Ah, oh, actually, I shouldn't say method acting in a movie with Jared Leto in it. I use a deep pore cleanser lotion. In the shower, I use a water-activated gel cleanser. And on the face, an exfoliating gel scrum. I just use a bar of soap and body wash? Alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. I don't even drink and I feel like I do now. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman. Some kind of abstraction. Patrick Waitman, you're gonna pull off your face! Maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable. Oh, I really hated that. Is that what happens when you get a call from, like, Christopher Nolan? You just become a new person? I'm walking outside. There's the meme! That's the <laughs> Is that what he's listening to? Is he listening to Walking on Sunshine in his head? 
I saw one of those memes with him listening to like the Doom Eternal soundtrack. And I was like, I don't understand it, but it's funny. All right, you need to rearrange this office. You need a succulent in that corner, like a nice big tree, maybe a salt lamp or something, some candles. I actually, they'll just end up looking like my room. Don't wear that outfit again. What? I didn't hear you. Wear a dress, a skirt or something. What a boss. You're prettier than that. <laughs> When you can just demand someone to wear different clothing, that's boss as. I just realized I'm a fraud because I didn't I didn't even wear a tie. Simply irresistible. Oh, a banger soundtrack so far. Evelyn, my supposed fiance, keeps buzzing in my ear. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I hate that job anyway. I want to fit in. And I am a business man. Oh, I just caught myself head bopping in the web webcam. Now I'm embarrassed. Actually, no, I'm not because I own myself because I'm a business. Yeah, I'm going to slick my hair back like that guy by the end of the video. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a he has jumped in a bath with a toaster. I'm fairly certain that Timothy Bryce and Evelyn are having an affair. I'm almost completely indifferent as to whether Evelyn knows I'm having an affair with Courtney Rawlinson. <laughs> oh my God. The biggest doofus in the business. Look at his hair, man. Doofus is one way to describe that guy. I know that man, when he has a shower to get rid of all that gel in his hair, has to take 25 minutes to shampoo his head because it's so stiff. You know what? I gotta say, I'm the furthest thing from cool ever, right? Check out what I drank about an hour ago. I'll go get it. A few moments later. This is what I drank an hour ago. A kid-sized chocolate Big M. <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from cool ever. And you know why I drank such a small chocolate milk? Because if I drink a big one, I get a tummy ache, okay? Hello. Oh, I don't like the music. What is he about to do? Ask you to join an L LMM. LMM. MLM. I nearly said LMAO. I'm a fucking idiot. If you don't shut your fucking mouth, I will kill you. Now listen, I have a lunch meeting at Hubert's in 20 minutes. Wait, is it in his head or what? Listen, I cannot understand you. <laughs> He's a great actor, holy shit. Patrick Bateman's the type of guy that would run one of those YouTube channels about business tips, 100%. And then he wouldn't tell you the full tips. He would make you sign up to his like business course on a different website. Is that kind of an alpha male move to just be on the phone to Talking to someone while you have porn playing in the background. But is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight or eight thirty, perhaps? No, baby, don't listen to the noise in the background. I've just got some friends over. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit noisy. Hey, shut up, or I'm gonna fucking murder you. Yeah, no, it's a, no problem. This is Dorothea. Frankly, I don't find Courtney attractive. It's just not my type. She looks like the type of person that would smoke twenty packets a day and then die in their 50s. Hey darling, I'm excited to have some of that wine you've got there. Yeah, take a sip while you can, you probably won't have long. That's a wonderful suit. Oh, th thank you so much. Mm, Valentino Couture. Uh, no, just, just black. Hello, Halber Stram. Nice tie. How the hell are you? Is that Morbius? Marcus and I even go to the same barber. Although I have a slightly better haircut. <laughs> Cecilia. I think it is him. Call me. Whoa, the business card even had a sound effect. Doors on Friday night, how do you swing that? Oh, that was clean as. What do you think? Nice, actually. I love the indentation of the words. And the lettering is something called Cillian Braille. That business card is the furthest from silly. Look at this. That is really nice. Best I can do. Sticky note. Pale Nimbus. White. Nah, that looks shit. It would feel great on your fingers, but it looks terrible. Ooh. Look at that subtle off white crisp. colouring. Yeah, that's nice off white colouring. Oh, um, oh my god. It even has a watermark. Is he gonna come? He just ruined his $500 pants. That scene just then with all the business cards is what I imagine 30 year old Yu-Gi-Oh fans do every weekend. Look at this 9.1 Exodia card. Whew. 
Chill. Pat Bateman. You want some uh, money? Yes, please. Christian Bale slid into my DMs and asked me if I wanted money. I wouldn't even hesitate. The fucking Bruce Wayne asking if I want money? I'll take whatever I can, thank you. Get a goddamn job, Al. You got a negative attitude. That's what's stopping you. He's you homeless, you man. You know how bad you smell. You reek of shit. He's so mean. He has a little dog. I don't have anything in common with you. Look at that oh, dog. Give him like... $5,000. Hmm? Oh, no! Not in front of the puppy! <gasps> oh, you are not Bruce Wayne. That's Joker vibes right there. Did you kill the dog? Wait. You did kill the dog! You fucking Oh my god, I have to censor that word. I don't like him anymore. I don't... Fuck, I'm taking my jacket off. No. He doesn't deserve my jacket. I don't want to be a businessman anymore. Hearing a dog like whimper like that breaks my heart and you just broke his neck. My nightly bloodlust has overflowed into my days. I feel lethal. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. I just recently watched Final Destination 3 and um, I did not like him being in a tanning bed at all, <laughs> if you know what I mean. What do you say? Hey, Hamilton, have a holly jolly Christmas. Go fuck yourself. Say hello to Snowball. Snowball says, Merry Christmas, Patrick. Snowball's a bit of a fucking idiot. Oh, he's so cute. He's wearing a little Christmas hat. Maybe you could bring a... Uh... That is Jared Leto. Wow, he looks so different when he's in a movie that's actually good. I'm very sorry, sir. JMB straight and a Corona. <laughs> Why are you pointing at the guy? Give me a scotch on the rocks now. P please. Listen, the uh, mud soup and charcoal arugula are outrageous here. Mud soup? Sounds dirty. So Patrick is a fraud who wants to be this exquisite business businessman but is slipping in his mind, is what I'm gathering. Essentially, he's a fake. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Yes? I've got a tanning bed at home. You should look into it. I've got one at home too. It's called going outside. <laughs> Another martini, Paul. The fuck is this movie? <laughs> Why do I love it? You like Huey Lewis on the news? Don't know who Huey Lewis is, but I definitely watch the news. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. Going outside? That's a poncho. Oh, you've got an axe. But I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humor. I mean, you know what they say, if you're gonna kill a vampire, you have to take off the head. No, Helen. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. We're going outside and it's not raining. I think they're undisputed masterpieces. Hip to be square. He's giving me Jim Carrey vibes. The walk and everything. Hey, Paul! Ah! Oh, yep, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's not getting those dinner renovations anymore. What a fucking idiot. He wore the poncho, right? He's got blood all over his face. Dude should have wore a face mask. I'll never listen to Simply Irresistible the same ever again. Thank you, American Psycho. Um... What? No way! That guy didn't look at what he was dragging. Hey, mate, what do you got there you're taking out the door? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just carry-on baggage. Where did you get that overnight bag? No way! People know what a body in a bag looks like, right? Get to Paul Allen's place. I use the keys I took from his pocket. There is a moment of sheer panic when I realize that Paul's apartment overlooks the park and it's obviously more expensive than mine. Oh, my God. I love that he wasn't panicked about being caught. He was panicked because the place was more expensive than his. <laughs> I calm myself and move into the bedroom. It's time for Paul to take a little trip. Where's he going? For a swim off the side of a bridge? Kind of intelligent for Patrick to steal his expensive clothes for himself, though. Hi, this is Paul. Meredith, I'll call you when I get back. Hasta la vista, baby. I don't think that would work, my friend. <laughs> it just sounds like a really bad impression. Oh my god. 
kind of an icon, honestly. I understand why everybody likes this. Detective Donald Kimball. Oh shit. You're in trouble, my boy. Tell him I'm at lunch. You can't tell that to a detective! The FBI are here to see you about some charges. Oh, just tell him I'm on break. You can't do that. Now, John. Gotta oh my god, pretending to be on the phone. <laughs> Hey! Willem Dafoe! Oh, in this movie, he definitely is gonna be Dafoe, I'm assuming. He ain't gonna be the friend. Oh, this would've been right after Spider-Man 1. He looks the exact same age as he was in that movie. No, I'm sorry, I should've made an appointment. <laughs> if you say this is your favourite movie, are you considered a psychopath or like an incel? Just asking for some friends. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman. Nice to meet you. It'd be nice to meet either of you guys, honestly. Coffee? No, I'm okay. Polinars? No, I'm okay. Seeing that uh, Willem Dafoe's wearing his suit, um, gotta look like my dad, so... I think his family wants this kept quiet. How old are you? 27. 27? I hope I look that good when I'm 27. Oh my god, that's next year. <laughs> I turned 26 in a couple of months, and then I'm 27 next year. Oh, God. He was probably a closet homosexual who did a lot of cocaine. You could also say cocaine, but uh, that's a terrible joke. I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. You feel like that? Oh, God, if Willem Dafoe started interrogating me about a potential murder, I would fold. I would just tell him I fucking did it. Don't you know this? I just wanted to know if you know. Oh, why is he scary in every movie? Oh, he's so unsettling. Hey, Patrick, where's Kimball? Kimball's on sabbatical, honey. <laughs> There's a message on his answering machine that says he went to London. Maybe he did, huh? This guy killed him, it's so obvious. I mean, no one's dealing with a homicide squad yet or anything, right? No one's seen or heard anything. So typical, isn't it? One day someone's walking around, going to work, alive, and then... They become a Spider-Man. Eerie. Really hairy. Yeah, it is. He should be your number one suspect. I'm hoping Willem Dafoe's character just clues on and just follows him and tries to get him to slip up. Thanks for your time, Mr. Bacon. Thanks. Uh, next time, make a fucking appointment because I've just missed out on $2,000. Hey, Texas Chainsaw Massacre! Woo! Ah, oh, fuck that movie. I remember that. That was not a good watch. You can actually watch that video on my channel if you really want to. Yeah, that man just fit in 2,000 crunches now, not 1,000. I'm so fucking stressed! I'm so fucking stressed! I'm not supposed to, but I can make an exception. For money. <laughs> you take a credit card? I'm joking. Come on. Get it depends whose credit card it is because for some reason I feel like you'd be giving me the dude you killed's credit card Is that the picture that I always see people having on Twitter? And it's like him with that big box phone and like Sonny's on my name's Paul Allen You got that? He's trying to throw the detectives off his scent It's a very fine Chardonnay you're drinking I want you to clean your vagina Um Behind Get on your knees very nice body. <laughs> what the fuck? Christy, get out and dry off. Choose a robe. Make sure your vagina's dry, okay? I'm not interested in getting down on a slip and slide. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm Paul. How good of you to come? Because I'm about to myself. I'm gonna call you Sabrina. I'm Paul Allen. You're not, though. <laughs> You're not Paul! Hi, I'm Paul! Don't you want to know what I do? No, not really. <laughs> Lol. I work on Wall Street. They just said they weren't interested, man. Move on. You have a really nice place here, Paul. How much did you pay for it? That's none of your business, Christy. I feel like I need to be a smoker to watch this. Like, I need to have like a- I need to be like... <sighs> yeah, darling, I don't want to hear the price. Oh yes! Phil Collins, baby! Let's go! Holy fuck, I'm in, I'm in, I'm invested. Oh, Phil Collins, one of my favorite musicians, holy shit. I'm not the only one who can agree that the Tarzan soundtrack absolutely goes way too hard. That soundtrack, definition of perfection. Oh god, I'm starting to sound like Patrick Bateman. Phil Collins' presence became... He's even an expert on Phil Collins. <laughs> I can see Phil Collins' music being like slow fuck music. That, yeah, don't take that the- oh, 
You know what I mean? Like, it's like music you play on if you want to make love. Sabrina, why don't you uh, dance a little? <laughs> Take the lyrics to Land of Confusion. <laughs> Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. He really is a phenomenal actor, isn't he? he he's a, so good to watch. So entertaining. Get down on your knees so Sabrina can see your asshole. <laughs> And let me tell you about cameras while I'm at it. The 5mm lens on an asshole really brings out the depth, alright? Oh, depth is in ca camera perspective. Oh my god. Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. Oh god. This is Susudio. Oh yeah, fucking, let's go! Personal favorite. Oh, my, me, me too, man. Oh fuck, I love this song. <laughs> I just know the lyrics. Let's fuck! Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Su -su -su I'm not even- Oh god, they're fucking- Dude, he's like getting the fucking gains in while he's fucking? Oh, I'm, I'm so into this! Ah, uh, the song, not- Ah, uh, fuck. Su -su -su no, 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 keep it going. Don't fade out the song. That's illegal to fade out that song. You have to let it play in full. Oh my God, I'm so gonna have a Phil Collins session after this movie's finished. Was that actually naked Christian Bale? Well, I'm pretty sure I saw a dick in there. And if that was his actual dick, that is, frankly, I understand why they called him the Dark Knight. <laughs> How much is that? That was like $500. If I can have sex, with Phil Collins playing and then get paid at the end of it? I want to be involved. Where do I sign up? There are no, no girls, girls with, with good, good personalities. personalities. <laughs> good personality oh God. The yep, they're businessmen. One part of me wants to take her out and talk to her. And what the other part of him think? What her head would look like on a stick. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say dick, but um, yeah, that's real serial killer vibes. I want to get your opinion on something. Yeah, you should fix your hair up. Oh, so that wasn't the question? Oops. The importance of the business cards is confusing me. And why do they come with sound effects? What about fucking dinner? What's the matter, no shiatsu this morning? No, he saw a good business card and now he's upset. He's throwing a temper tantrum over some off-white coloring. Wow, he's gonna kill him? Is it really that the business cards set him off? God. Um. Patrick, why here? I've seen you looking at me. Oh, it's not for that. My man. Red stripe paisley on money tie. He's gotta wash his gloves. <laughs> Didn't even touch his skin. Where are you going? I've gotta return some videotapes. That's my new go-to. Whenever a dude hits me up in the bathrooms, I'm gonna go, I've gotta return some videotapes. Are you aware video stores aren't a thing anymore? Uh, yeah, I've gotta go international. A guy with the fucking fringe was like, how about instead of strangling me, you strangle my penis? Kimball, I've been wanting to talk with you. Come into my office. Kimball's the detective. Paul Allen's Jared Leto. Okay, I got it confused earlier. My apologies. Really busy, successful businessmen get things confused all the time, okay? Give me a fucking break, honestly. Oh, Africa, brave Africa. It was a laugh riot. Why is he so emotionless? Yes, we went to a musical and it had music in it and um, I think I enjoyed it. I actually really liked it. If you could try and pin down where you were the night of Paul Allen's disappearance. Okay, the fact that that dude, Patrick, cannot pinpoint where he was the night Paul Allen disappeared is a red flag. And now there's a fucking truck outside my house. Do you know I do not have time to deal with such affairs? There's a fucking truck outside my house. You know what? I'm gonna go buy the company and then I'm gonna fire that guy. Yeah, sorry, mate. You drove past that house at fucking 2.45 p.m. Yeah, you're fired. But I have a family. Yeah, mate. Well, I come from a family, okay? See you later. Huey Lewis in the nose. <laughs> he knows. He's trying to get Patrick to slip up, I bet. There's no way you have Willem Dafoe hired as a detective and he's this dumb detective. Uh, lunch next week? I'll be there. Consider it your last meal. <laughs> Will you call me before Easter? Batman doesn't have a cell. Talk to Gordon. Get the bat signal lit up. Can we talk? Ew. Don't have sex and talk? Patrick's gonna hate that. Who wants to have a conversation after they make love? Oh, <laughs> yuck, that's disgusting. Have a nice one, okay? Patrick? 
Oh my god, woman. If you're gonna say something, say it all at once, not in intervals. It's annoying. I really am starting to sound like Patrick Bateman. Where's Will- Ah, oh, Will DeVoe! Why was I being so innocent thinking they were going into toilets to do wheeze? Of course, five out of the six stores would have in them. Oh, my fucking oatmeal. It's definitely weak, but I have a feeling if we do enough of it, we'll be okay. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to do drugs. My point exactly! <laughs> Is there one dude in there trying to do a shit and he's like, why is everyone sniffing so much? I, my poo doesn't smell that good. See, I think the thing with slicked back hair like that is it really exposes how fucking big your forehead is if you have a big forehead. Is Avril Lavigne? There's something sweet about you. Yeah, he listens to Phil Collins. Anyone that listens to Phil Collins is a sweetheart with a sweet taste in music, baby. <laughs> Is that her hair? Oh my god, you killed her too? Doing the crossword? Meat, bone, meat, bone, meat, bone. <laughs> what is with bangs in the 2000s? Scream 3, Gale, bangs, everyone had bangs. Even Patrick Bateman was having bangs, but it wasn't a hairstyle. I like to call it front hair, but like, why was it so popular? Oh, we're totally booked. Really? That's great. That's the Twitter thing! People with profile pictures like that, he's wearing the sunglasses and the big box Lego phone. And Gene, I don't want to change before we go out. Because frankly, you're f ugly right now and... <laughs> what a wonderful view. Gene? Oh god! Not next to the yogurt! Do you want a bite? Uh, don't get ahead of yourself, I'm actually on a diet. There's a head in the fridge actually. You look great. Very fit. You can always be thinner. Look better. <laughs> he just fat shamed me. Oh, what kind of animal also eats yogurt out of the tub? Get a bowl. Bowl and a spoon. Be a human being, not a fucking warthog. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not really. Interesting. Intriguing is what Paul Allen would say. Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie, was named Lassie. Who's Ted Bundy? Just a guy that, um, an actor. An actor, you know? He was in High School Musical. What's that? Duct tape. I need it for, uh... Ducks. <laughs> looking for, uh... I guess you could say I just want to have a meaningful relationship with someone special. Oh god, why is she just sitting straight? Turn your head around! Oh my god, how did you not turn around the entire time? If he walked up slowly behind me and was talking like that, I would turn around straight away. Bye Patrick, bye Mr. Big Time CEO. Bye bye. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. The night he disappeared, any new thoughts? I'm sure. Um... <laughs> the salt? <laughs> Dude, that you can have a heart attack. Well, does Marcus have an alibi? Yes. He does, you're sure. How could you eat dinner while being investigated by a detective? I'd feel so sick, I'd be nervous, anxious, I wouldn't be able to keep food down. I think that's what's happening with him now, he's starting to realise he's about to get caught. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. It wanted Paul Allen to come. Personally, I think the guy went a little nuts, so... I mean... To think that one of his friends killed him for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Isn't that right, Patrick? That is right, yeah. You motherfucker, you've got me. I think, frankly, uh, Patrick, you should go to London. Lawyers are so complicated. I'll do that. Did you just get a pay her off? <whistles> he wants to pay you off! <laughs> hey, honey, don't worry about a lawyer. Here's $50,000 to shut up about it. <laughs> That's a power move right there. Half now, half later. That's a man who knows how to run a business. Half now, half later, he has an open and a closing time. See, what is that? What happened to the front of your head? What do you do? She's my... Cousin. C don't fucking say that after what you've done with her. That's not a cell phone. That's not a phone. That's a walkie-talkie. That's what the military uses to, like, set off a bomb. They're like, B -b -b B2, okay. I would just like to see the two of you get it on.
Again? Whitney Houston's debut LP called simply He really just is a fun fact fun box when people are having sex. He's like if Alexa gave you fun facts when you were having sex with someone. Uh, did you know that fish uh, sleep with their eyes open? Oh, thank you. Um, that just stopped me from finishing. It's one of the best, most powerful songs ever written. Patrick Bateman in this current year would get sponsored by Audible. I'm calling it. That's beautifully stated on the album. <laughs> oh God. What the fuck? Ooh. Oops. He really is an American psycho. Oh God. What the fuck? Uh, I was really worried he was going to be behind her then. In the sneakers too? In the high tops? Oh my god, he's just wearing shoes. God, I- that- Why are chainsaws so unsettling to me? I can see why they had Texas Chainsaw Massacre on in the background. Oh yeah, you are fucked in the head, clinically. Oh my god, he killed her! That is a trick shot! I don't know if FaZe Clan are still relevant, but dude, you need to look into that. The odds of you being able to hit that woman are the same as like trying to do a 1080 off the top of high rise and actually hitting the shot. It's over, Evelyn. It's all over. Now, are we having coffee? I'm fucking serious. Is he gonna go off the grid? I know my, uh... Behavior can be erratic. Oh, yes. What is it that you want? If you really want to do something for me, then stop making this scene right now. Oh, that's got to be so awkward being one of the other couples sitting there trying to enjoy their dinner and then a breakup happens. Like, what do you do? Like, you got to awkwardly sit there and watch these this couple bicker and get upset. It's like, oh, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Here, kitty, kitty. Do not. Do not do it. You've put him down. Put that cat down now. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. 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 Oh my god. At least he... P at least he put the cat down. Not kidding, my cat is asleep right there on the chair. If he had have put that into the fucking ATM, I would have had to stop the movie. Uh -oh. oh god, no, put it down, man! I guess you've killed that many people that if you get caught, you are gonna probably get executed or go to prison for life. You reckon he's rocking like a five-star wanted rating currently? They're gonna start sending out the helicopters and the NPCs. <laughs> hey, now don't forget to sign in. Oh, he just made you sign out. That cleaner's like, dude, I was just about... Okay, now he's... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, he's like, I was just about to knock off, and now he's fucking knocked out. Oh, I got really worried for a second. That dude was just enjoying reading a newspaper. I thought he was going to get popped. Oh, there's the five-star wanted rating. How are you going to get yourself out of this? There is no way you can escape this now. Patrick Bateman, you're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some escort girls in an apartment uptown. Uh, I killed Bethany, my old girlfriend with a nail gun. Uh, some a man of a little f with a dog. <laughs> I had to. Why do I feel bad for him? I should not feel bad for him at all. That's how good of an actor he is. I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face. Body is dissolving in a bathtub in Hell's Kitchen. I guess I've killed maybe 20 people. Do you think your lawyer's gonna go, okay, cool, I'll help you out, mate. He's gonna listen to that voice message and go, all right, I need to call the police. I ate some of their brains. I'll... And I tried to cook a little. <laughs> 
Oh, or, oh God. My tummy, my tummy, my tummy, my tummy. I mean, I guess I'm a pretty sick guy. Yeah, you probably. I don't really know. I, who am I to judge? Oh. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> and then Donald Kimball's like, you know what? I think we should kill the Spider-Man. <laughs> Enjoy that suit while you can, Patrick, because uh, you're going to be in an orange suit very soon. What? Oh, it's being cleaned out by the feds, obviously. I would not be comfortable going back into that apartment. I'd be so worried there'd be a cop in there waiting or something. Honey, my fair. No, he doesn't. He did. You saw the ad in the Times? No. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is it all in his head? There was no ad in the Times. I Ooh. think you should go now. Don't make any trouble, please. What the fuck? What is happening? What's scarier than a serial killer loose in fucking New York? A phone booth. Those things are just drug dens now. <laughs> you want to make a call? You're making one to fucking Fred who sells 50 grams of marijuana on a Saturday night every week. Patrick, I can't hear you. What am I doing? I'm confused. I don't know if it's in his head or it's actually happening. Just say no! What is it, Patrick? Are you all right? I'm sounding so fucking sad! I was going to say, he said earlier he shot the girl in the head with the nail gun, he didn't. So I don't get what's happening. I think Patrick's just losing his mind and he's perceiving all these things. I don't actually think it's actually happening. That was kind of a boss move. I just told my webcam what to do. <laughs> to make sure it fixed itself. To me, it feels like he's fantasizing about all these murders happening. It's all in his head. I don't know if it is though. Hey look, Bryce is back and he's drinking mineral water. Still can't get a reservation to save his life. I'm not going anywhere unless we have a reservation. I'd be very surprised if it was all real and he hasn't actually been caught. Keep your shirt on. Maybe lose the suspenders. Excuse me, gentlemen. Right back. <laughs> Shut up, Carnes. They will not. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Killing Alan and the escort girls, that's fabulous. That's rich. What exactly do you mean? The message you left. By the way, Davis, how's Cynthia? Oh, excuse me, nothing. It's good to see you. What the fuck is happening? Is this meant to make me feel like a psycho and I'm losing my head? Because I feel like I am. Your joke was amusing. Such a dork. Such a boring, spineless lightweight. Now, if you said Bryce or McDermott. Otherwise, it was amusing. I'm Patrick Bateman. Oh, I don't like the close-up. Excuse me. I really must be going now. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. We talk on the phone all the time. That's seriously impressive how unsettling this has just become. It's not scary or anything anymore. It's just really uncomfortable. I killed Paul Allen. Is Paul Allen even real? But that's simply not possible. Uh, is this the meme? Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why, Why not? not you stupid, stupid bastard. bastard. <laughs> That's the meme. I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. No, you... What? Why not, you stupid bastard? <laughs> oh, yeah, very nice artwork. You could get a job at DC with stuff like that. Oh, my fucking God. Maybe not DC. You could definitely get a job uh, working on the boys. We can accomplish more by cooperating. So is Donald Kimple even real? Willem Dafoe's character, is he even actually a character? What are you so fucking zany about? <laughs> I'm just a happy camper. <laughs> I'm just a happy camper. Inside, believe it or not, Bryce, we're actually listening to you. What do you think? I don't know. Wait, I'm not, I'm not Bateman. What a cool guy. I think I've already said this in the video, but I would love to hang out with Christian Bale, honestly. What a fucking awesome experience that would be. My pain is constant and sharp, and I do not hope for a better world for anyone. I want my pain to be inflicted on others. My punishment continues to elude me, and I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. Stop zooming in. Stop, 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 up. And Get nothing. Let's zoom out. That's the end. So it was all in his head. He's just 
a fucking psycho. Pardon the pun. I'm gonna have to watch an ending explained. <laughs> is Patrick Bateman a serial killer? Or is it all in his head? I think he was just a bit fucked in the head. He uses a pistol with unexplained skill to somehow explode a car. True, actually. That's true. <laughs> I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. Note that during the opening narration, and he's defined by consumerism, living in the language of ads, and driven forward by Okay, so it's all in his head, is what I'm guessing. All right, so that was American Psycho, otherwise known as, if you don't have a good business card, you're safe is the motto. You don't have a nice off-white colored business card? Consider yourself alive. You do? So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I actually don't have the time to sit down and give an in-depth analysis on that because I actually... Mm. Oh, hang on. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Kevin Feige, yes. Yeah, no, I'm just filming a YouTube video. Yeah, no, I just... Uh, just just found the time in between running 10 different businesses. You want to talk about me buying um, Marvel Studios? That's water under the bridge for me. I can do that. Yeah, no, 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 not an issue. Um, do you accept PayPal? You know what? I really hope you understand that sorry isn't enough and this time you're going to be paying with your life. And you can also get me a nice hairbrush. Because this, simply I'm having a lot of hair loss.